Right, hello, I'm going to give you a quick overview of something called Whistle Phone Finder, which uh, they've asked me to have a look at. So here it is, Whistle Phone Finder, and it's got a uh, interface that looks a bit like that, and you can set, there you go, you can see it now, you can set whether it be turned on or not, with this button here, the sensitivity, which I'm going to set to uh, low, you can have low, medium or high, as you can see. Uh, you can select the sound that comes on when you whistle because this is in, in fact what it does so we'll just have this lovely discreet noise here okay and you can turn the light on or off I don't know why that is it's just a little button that turns the light on or off I don't know why that's there it's just something else for it to do anyway you turn it on like that activate it and you basically put it to sleep and then when you uh, have the phone turned off like that let's say you've lost the phone and you don't know where it is uh, and now just like those retro key fobs that you may remember from years back you just whistle and there you go it finds the phone so you could just then uh, go in to the whistle device it's been detected here it is do you want to stop the sound, which it already has stopped anyway? Stop the sound. And that's it, you're done. So it's basically a new modern way to find your phone. No, well, not that modern. It's a retro way to find your phone. Uh, so no GPS required or anything like that. No cleverness like that. It just runs in the background. And the only thing I've found is that obviously if somebody does whistle next to you or uh, if you get any high-pitched sound as you walk around, it does tend to set it off. And um, you can test it with that middle button there. So that is the um, Whistle Finder app, which you can find in the um, Google Play Store.